Hello everyone, my name is Art Drupa and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a 5M server with a server host. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up using a Windows VPS. Quick bit of info, a Windows VPS is the best way to host a 5M server if you don't want to use your own PC because it gives you full control like your own PC and you're not restricted to a browser. Cheaper browser-based game panel server hosting is way, 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 way worse and you're incredibly restricted on what you're doing. Granted, it is a bit more affordable. In this video, I'm going to be using my company, HTNetwork.1. You can come on over down in the description below, head on over to the server hosting page, and we'll grab ourselves a VPS. We can use our handy Find My Plan feature right here. We'll select 5M. We'll select how many players we want and how many mods, either vanilla, which is no mods, light mods, or heavy mods. And it'll tell you the plan which works for you. Otherwise, if you don't want to use my company and you want to use any other Windows VPS, feel free to do so. Although if you do want to use HD Network, I'll leave a discount code down in the description below that you guys can use to get a discount on the first couple of months for your VPS, just for watching the video. And then once you've got your VPS, you just need to log in using Remote Desktop, which is literally just the application on your computer. Just search Remote Desktop Connection, click Open, you enter the details your hosting provider has provided you, and then you very simply get signed in to a page which looks very, very similar to this. And it looks exactly like a normal Windows 10 computer. And that's because it is, it's a virtual Windows 10 computer. So everything we're gonna do now is gonna be very, very similar to setting it up on your own PC. Now, with a HD Network VPS, we pre-port forward for you. So you don't need to worry about port forwarding. You'll instantly be, instantly be able to join it. But if you haven't got a HD Network VPS and another one, you need to check that the VPS firewall ports are open. We'll touch on that a bit later on. But let's make the 5M server. So we're going to right click on our desktop. We're going to go to new folder. We're going to call it 5M server. And then from there, we're going to open the 5M server folder on up. We're going to right click inside of here and make a new folder. We're going to call this one server files. And we're going to open this folder on up and just put it to one side. Now we're going to open up your browser on your VPS or click the link down in the description below on your VPS and come on over to the 5M artifacts download page. We're going to click at the top one right here to download the latest artifacts. The latest recommended button does not work and needed as the latest optional ones. For some reason, they've never updated it. So just click the blue one right at the top at the time of watching the video. It'll download a server artifacts zip file. So open that on up using a zip opener. By default, HD Network VPS has come with a zip opener installed already for you. So it'll automatically work and open. From here, minimize the desktop. I'm going to grab all these server files and drag and drop them in to the server files folder. Once it's done, We'll close the zip on down. We'll scroll on down until we find the fxserver.exe. I'm going to double click this to start it on up. And if it does pop up with this, we'll just click more info and run anyway. And your server should boot up for the first time, instantly kicking you in to the TX admin browser page. We're going to click link account and should autofill the code. And now we're going to sign in to our cfx.re account. If you don't have one, make sure to make one. Click continue and then make yourself a backup password as long as it's something you remember and is separate from your main cfx.re password. It can be anything you want. Agree to the rules and register. From here, we're gonna enter our server name. I'm gonna do HTN server. You can do anything you want. It doesn't make a difference. Although this isn't gonna be what shows on the 5M server menus anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. From here, we're gonna click next. And then for the deployment type, we're going to select anything we want, really. We're going, to go, we're going to go inside of popular recipes, and we can pick one of these 5M recipes. If we do go with Cubicore, Qbox, or ESX, we are going to need to make sure we have XAMP installed. Our HTML VPSs do come with XAMP pre-installed right here. It's always going to be pinned to your taskbar. We'll open XAMP on up and make sure MySQL and Apache is started. If your VPS doesn't have XAMP, simply go to Google, search for XAMP, and then download it. Pretty simple. But I'm going to be going with the Cubicore recipe. Unless you guys don't want XAMP, you can select the 5M basic server recipe that doesn't require XAMP because there's no database. But Cubicore is probably my go-to besides HD network auto install packages. We'll go to Cubicore, we'll click save, and then we'll go to recipe deployer. From here, we don't need to mess with any of this. We'll click next, and we're going to grab our server license key. So click the green link right here to go to the cfx.re portal and sign in again with your cfx.re account. Make a new key if you need to, and then copy the key like so. Come back on over to TX Admin and paste the key on in. And very, very simply, we're going to hit Run Recipe. If you didn't have XAMP open when MySQL and Apache started, if we did do one of those recipes that required it, it's not going to let you run a recipe. 
Okay, now that it's done, it might pop up with a server folder in your file explorer. We'll just close that on down. We don't really need it. And then we're just going to click next. This is your server.cfg, which is basically the settings for your 5M server. You can configure this if you want. I'd recommend just changing the product name and SV host name and things like that to your liking and just removing the default bits that it enters on in and edit the description if you want as well. But the rest of this, we really don't need to touch for now. We've auto added ourselves as admin since we made the server with our cfx.re account. So we're going to click save and run server. And just like that, we set up a fully functioning Kubicore 5M server on a server host. However, the one thing I did want to touch on whilst we let the server do its thing in the background is port forwarding. Now, as I mentioned, a HTTP VPS does come with port forwarding already done for you, so you don't need to worry about that. But if you don't know if your VPS has, you just need to open your firewall by searching firewall and you need to open Windows Defense Firewall with Advanced Security. Again, make sure this is being done on your VPS, not your own computer. Open it on up, go to Inbound Rules, and you can see I have 5M Inbound Rules. And then Outbound Rules, the exact same thing. But if you don't have those, you need to go to New Rule, and then Port, Next, TCP, and UDP. So you do one at a time, and the port we need to open is 30120. And then you just click Next, you make sure you allow the connection, allow all of these and then enter the name and it's the exact same thing with outbound you do the exact same thing but that is pretty much it all we've got to do now is join our 5m server so to do that you need to make sure you have your vps ip at the ready and we'll launch 5m so once you've launched 5m really simple and straightforward we're going to press f8 in the 5m menus and type connect and paste in our vps ip and as long as we did port forward or it was already done for us you should see it will let us connect we just need to restart to go on to a different build and there we go. We're loading into our new Kubicore 5M server hosted on a VPS and not your own PC. If you guys did find this video useful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And be sure to check out my website, hcnetwork.1, not only for server hosting, but for pre-built auto-install 5M server packs, which come with a bunch of custom and really, really cool 5M scripts.